What's going on guys? We're doing something a little bit different today. As you all know, it is now summertime. Ambient temperatures are rising and you might be thinking to yourself, what, how do I stay cooler? How do I actually stay cool and beat the heat this summer? Not just your system, but you yourself. Admin temps are very important also. So what we're gonna be doing today is trying to find a way to keep you guys cool by DIYing our very own USB fan. Not just any fan though, we're gonna be using a standard 12 volt PC case fan like this one to conduct all of this madness. It should be a lot of fun and I have a lot of spare fans to burn in case this doesn't go well. So I can't really think of any other reason why we're doing this. The Enermax Sabre Ray full tower chassis features premium RGB sync lighting, included RGB strips, and three pre-installed twister bearing RGB fans. Enjoy a tempered glass window, power supply shroud, and extensive water cooling support with two included front panel options for prioritizing silence or airflow. Compromise nothing with the Enermax Sabre Ray. You can learn more by clicking the link below. I should also mention that the items I picked to complete this project were not picked with a budget in mind. So this is definitely gonna be more expensive than your typical USB fan that you can buy on Amazon. But you can always tweak the items that I picked here to kind of align with your budget if you really wanna shave things down. And you can find links to all this stuff in the description. Let's quickly go over all the parts that we're using. Uh, starting with the fan, of course, this is just a typical 200 millimeter RGB fan. Yes, it has RGB. This is actually pulled from the H500P mesh. Uh, so that case is now missing a, a, a fan. You can see here we've got our three pin fan connector as well as our four pin. Uh, RGB connector. I was thinking that we would just plug this all in once it's all said and done into a laptop, so I don't I don't think we're gonna be able to utilize the RGB element of this fan, which is quite sad, but who knows. So this is a 200 millimeter fan, but you can really go with any size fan you want. Doesn't matter if it's 80 millimeters, 120, 140. Uh, it's your personal preference. And all, I'd say most PC case fans are of the 12 volt variety. However, USB, as most of you guys know, is rocking five volts. So what would happen if you actually stripped this wire and your fan wire and, and, and uh, merged them together, soldered them together, the fan would still technically spin up, but it would spin at a much lower RPM than what it's rated for, simply because it's not getting enough juice, which would equate to a lackluster fan experience. You wouldn't get quite the airflow you're looking for, and it wouldn't be very worthwhile in the end. So we have a way around this though. I actually picked up a set of four of these step-up boosters on Amazon for about 10 bucks for all four, so it's fairly cheap. What this essentially does is it converts, uh, say, a five volt input, and it even has micro USB input, so we don't even have to uh, solder the, the wire here for, for the micro USB. It converts a five volt input to pretty much any volt output. Uh, up to, I think, 28 volts for this particular unit here. Uh, there's an adjustable knob for, for, for voltage, and we can essentially keep turning that knob and testing uh, the output voltage with a multimeter, for example, until it reads 12 volts. That way we know that the USB is now giving us 12 volts of power and that our fan will uh, will actually spin at its proper RPM at full speed. Now, with that said, we'll obviously need a soldering iron like this one, Pretty simple, I think I got this on Amazon for around 20 bucks or so. Uh, we're gonna have to solder, of course, the fan cable to the step-up converter. So this will help us do that with a tube of some basic solder. And I have a wet sponge on hand so I can sort of uh, deoxidize the tip of the soldering iron and also keep it clean while it's in use. The final items you'll need include electrical tape so that you can mask off any of the handiwork that you've done once you're finished with the step-up converter, and then a wire cutter and stripper. Uh, not that kind of stripper. Uh, this is just a wire cutter. I don't have a stripper on hand, so we're just gonna be using this for both. And last but certainly not least, we'll need something to mount our fan to, because obviously you could just stand the fan up on your desk or whatever, but it's not the most stable and just, uh, it's... Here we have a tablet stand. This actually fits, uh, I believe, seven to 13 inch tablets. And uh, I already did the measurements and our 200 millimeter fan will fit no problem. You wanna make sure that whatever tablet stand you're buying can fit, obviously, uh, whatever size fan you're, you're opting for. And you can really choose any style of tablet stand as well. This one just kinda sits on your desk and articulates a, little, a, a few ways. Uh, but there's also the tablet stands that can clamp to the edge of your desk that have like a, a three foot long bendy arm. So really the choice is up to you. It's a personal preference thing. We're gonna go with something a little bit more simple today. So those are all the things. Those I think there's like about 10 items here that we're using to finish the job. And uh, you, again, you can find links to all this stuff in the video description, but I think on that note, we're pretty much ready to go. So uh, I guess I'll start with step one. What is, what is step one? I've never done this before. 
All right, so the first step I wanna take here is to calibrate our little step-up converter. You can see I've actually already plugged it in with the USB, and the, US, the other end is plugged into a laptop here, so we're getting constant power. And then I have the multimeter hooked up to the end points, the, the output points right here. And then you can see we have a voltage readout of 17, around 17 volts at the moment. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this knob. As I turn it, looks like we're going down in voltage, which is the correct direction we're looking for. And there we are, at around 12 volts. Perfecto. So now that that's out of the way, we can move on to destroying our fan. We're actually gonna snip off the three pin connector. Goodbye. Ow. And we're gonna have to figure out which of these wires is positive and which one is our ground. Cause the other one, the third one is just a sensor for the fan itself, which we won't be needing. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and strip the wires down. That way we can expose the metal strands underneath. Let's do a little test boot here, if you will. I'm gonna bring the laptop back briefly, plug in the USB cable, which is still connected to our step up. So all I got to do now is pick any two random wires and sort of make them touch our soldering output points. And hey, look at that, we, we have a connection. So first try, nailed it. Uh, we, we've just identified our positive and ground wire, so we can move on to soldering. All right, soldering iron is on, and it's pretty much all heated up. I actually have it at 350 degrees Celsius, so it is hot. And I'm gonna go ahead and just brush it on this wet sponge briefly, just to remove any oxidization. And uh, this is actually my first time soldering, folks. So everyone say a prayer, and uh, probably look up like an actual YouTube tutorial on how to solder, and don't do what I'm about to do. Well, it's not the finest soldering job, but hopefully it's enough. And now we can let the solder dry for about 30 seconds or so. All right, so now we can test my soldering job by simply plugging our USB cable into a power source. Ah, ha, ha, ha! Ah! Oh, it works! It works! Ah, feeling cooler already. It's got a nice... It's got a nice kind of breeze to it. And it's fairly quiet too. Good job, Cooler Master. Definitely feels like it's operating at the full 800 RPM. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. At this point, um, I say we take care of this ugly step up. I mean, it's functional, we know that now, but it's also kind of an eyesore. So let's tape it up with some electrical tape and then finally mount the fan onto the tablet holder. And then we'll be done. Tablet stand, it sounds stupid. Why did I call it a tablet holder? What am I, a grandpa? All right, electrical tape. about this is that at least with the fan that I chose and the stand I guess maybe they kind of pair nicely together it actually kind of just looks like a regular desk fan I mean you'd really have to kind of give it a second glance to to tell that it was sort of a DIY project uh, not trying to toot my own horn or anything but I don't know it looks it looks pretty good I wouldn't be super embarrassed to have this on my desk I'd be like yeah I made that <laughs> no big deal I guess this is all to say that if you guys are into tinkering with your hardware careful how you interpret that, and you like DIY projects, then maybe this is one to try out. I don't know, and if you guys have already done something like this or this exact project, let us know how it went in the comments below if you have any tips to share with the class. As far as the RGB thing goes, I have not hooked it up. I don't really have a proper way to hook up RGB via USB at the moment. It'd be nice if I could just pop it into the laptop along with the fan, but uh, I do have a power supply that's off screen at the moment, so I'll just plug this in just to give you guys a little hint. Ah! That's what it would look like if there was some, some LED action. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the controller set up or anything, so we're stuck with green. So, one out of three ain't bad. You know, we're missing the, the R and the B, but at least we got the G. Thank you so much for watching this video. Toss a like on it if you enjoy this kind of wacky stuff that we do occasionally, and maybe we'll do more of it in the future. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more tech stuff coming at you really soon. And feel free to check us out on Floatplane for three bucks a month if you want to watch our videos a whole week early without ads. I'll put a link for that in the video description. Till next time, guys, thank you for watching this one. Have a good one, and I'll see y'all in the next video.